Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Today I'm coming to you from the beautiful community of Esperanza in the Texas Hill Country town of Bernie, Texas. Love this community and the reason I'm out here today is it's closing day for my clients who get this Brandon plan built by Chessmore Homes. So I'm happy to do the final video tour for them so they can show it off to their friends and family. All right, let's go check it out. This is the Brandon plan. It is a four bedroom, three bath, two car garage, 2340 square feet. My clients did pick this lot out themselves and was able to build this from dirt. And yeah, Chessmar, uh, according to my clients, were wonderful to work with. And uh, I'm glad they chose them as a builder because yeah, they've been watching my videos. They knew I was a big fan of Chessmar Homes and uh, turned out to be a really good decision. I'm not gonna talk about price of it because it's Texas is a non-disclosed state. They bought, got this house under contract uh, a while ago, so prices change. So please don't in the comments, hey, what's the price? Uh, if you're interested in that, I can reach out to the sales rep, find out what the current price is. But it's a beautiful stone and stucco house. Really like everything they've done to it. The landscaping's beautiful. The amenity center is just down this road and to the left a little bit. Wonderful dog park. And I've done video tours on all of those. So yeah, just uh, look at my channel and uh, you'll see those. Or I might put a link up above right here too. But yeah, I love this community. You're just a few minutes away from downtown Bernie. All right, let's head on inside. All right, the cleaners have finished cleaning the house. So I did have to take my boots off, so I don't wanna track anything in, but I love this door. Really tall, beautiful door. And uh, yeah, Chessmar does such great quality work. Um, we just did our final walkthrough and my clients have been just really happy with the whole process of Chessmar. All right, one of the distinctions of the Brandon plan, you can see the little slant here and this extremely wide entryway, beautiful tray ceilings. And uh, there, I uh, couldn't compliment my clients enough on the design, the design stuff that they picked out. They did build this house from dirt. So they got to go pick out everything. So right up front in the Brandon plan, you do have this room, nice room. Check out the closet. Uh, pretty standard closets, but it's nice to have a little room separate from everybody else along with the eight foot doors. And they're gonna have access to the full bath and this kind of your open to the public bathroom as well. But love the, the colors that they did. All right, coming in also right up front, you do have your laundry room which they went a little fancy dancy flooring, which I love that because it's a small space. It doesn't dominate the house, but it really jumps out as, hey, that's a nice laundry room. We got the garage. This is a two car garage. Chest bars now doing all tankless water heaters. It's plumb for water softener. And I love the fact that they really just Finished out the garage with the baseboard, painting, even got uh, can lighting in here. I'm not sure if my clients did that as a upgrade when they did the low voltage meeting, but man, it really does jump out as a, a nice place to be working out of. All right, and then as you come in, you also have the this is a neat little flex room or office space, whatever you want to use it for. You got your uh, French doors. So this could be a really nice spot for an office. Be able to just close the doors, get some work done. So that's kind of handy dandy to have. And one of the things my clients did upgrade were these beams. And in my opinion, it's very worth it because wow, it just looks so Nice, and it's not crazy expensive to get the beams put in. All right, I wanna show you the kitchen and stuff in a little bit, but we still have a few rooms left. This is a four bedroom house, remember? So uh, lots of space in here. More bathrooms, another full bathroom. So this one's gonna have the tub in it. We gotta have a tub no matter what, just because uh, resale wise, even if you don't have small children, someday you might 
sell the house to a family that does have small children. So uh, always keep one tub in the house. This bedroom has a little bit, a uh, little deeper, little mini walk-in closet there. And then the other secondary bedroom. That's a good size bedroom. Love the tall baseboards they have in here. Um, they want the builder's grade light because all these um, rooms are going to be blocked for a fan so my clients can come through and uh, pick out their own fan and light that they can afterwards to save some money. Neat little shelf there and it's going to have about the same size closet in the other bedroom. So that's a little thing you can save money on is just putting your own lamp, uh, ceiling fans and light fixtures in after the fact. All right, now we're gonna get to the kitchen and it's absolutely gorgeous. Compliment my clients on the designs they picked out and they did spend a little extra on the island and that's really great place to spend money on because it really just captures your attention right when you walk in this big, beautiful island they have. And it absolutely looks great. I love the little curved uh, eyelid type cut there. They did a great job, the simple, elegant backsplash, undermount lighting, I mean, this just looks really great. They did go with a full single basin sink with this uh, stainless steel. Just remember uh, that stainless steel does scratch up, so take precautions in getting that uh, protected. Really good sized pantry in this house. I do like the Brandon plan a lot. I mean, between the Brandon and the McKenzie plan, that Chessmar builds, I really like both of them. We do have lots of space in here. Um, your breakfast nook slash formal dining room space. You've got lots of room in here. We've got the uh, GE appliances. It's gonna be the profile series, so a little bit step up. So you got your microwave at a really nice height. It's not too tall and a beautiful GE oven. My clients did build this house from dirt, so they were able to uh, select the lot, and I'm really happy with the lot selection that they had. Um, they got the wrought iron fence in here, uh, rock. There is a community road going right back through here. It's not like a public road there's gonna to be tons of traffic on but I know it's a little bit overcast day but man you got a really nice view of the Texas Hill Country and when we're looking at this lot the reason they chose it is because it looked like they could keep a lot of these oak trees and uh, they were able to and it looks really nice so plenty of space for them to do whatever they want with lots of entertainment space out here that light up there is also blocked for a ceiling fan as well. So if they want to add something like that, they can. All right, on to the master bathroom. Bathroom, and I'm gonna dote on my clients a little bit more on their selection just because the master bathroom looks absolutely gorgeous. But we do have a really good sized master bedroom and they carry the beams in here too really does set this room off. It's just beautiful. And yeah, I'm real glad they went with Chessmark because they did a wonderful job. But yeah, talking about the flooring in here, notice the little uh, octagons back in the kitchen. They had the same ones in here, but they're darker. And wow, that just looks so nice, how everything just contrasts with each other, but just the right way that it looks great. I really like it. So the dual vanities, Got the his and hers on it. Oh, they took a lot of the ideas from the model home, which is the way you do it. The model home people spend a lot of money designing stuff, so we got not stealing ideas from the model homes. You're not working hard. But they took the tile all the way up. It's a nice shiny tile too, really smooth. It looks really great, and having the rain head up there is nice. Water closet, plenty of space in here. Carry the tile all the way through. And then this plan has a really long closet. So plenty of space in here and your nice little shoe rack space as well. And that's just a linen closet. 
But yeah, this is a beautiful home uh, by Chessmar. I do like the Brandon plan a lot. And the flooring looks really nice. They got electrical outlet in there, so when they do put their furniture in, have the TV on, you're not gonna have the wires running across the floor. So that's a really nice little upgrade to put into any house. All right, that's gonna do it for the Brandon plan that my clients are closing on today as of uh, 12 October, 2023. Remember this plan is a four bedroom uh, house with 2340 square feet, beautiful plan in the community of Esperanza in Bernie, Texas. Absolutely love this community. Uh, if you haven't checked out the amenities tour I did of this community, you gotta check it out. I'll put the link up above. But yeah, if you like these videos, of course, I want you to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. And if you know anybody wanting to move to the great Texas Hill Country area, please share this video with them, especially if they're wanting a real estate agent that does these videos. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.